What's up there, great? It's Miss T. I'm super excited to see you. Um, I heard that y'all were learning about the food chain, and that's pretty cool, like learning how everybody gets energy from something different in the environment. A cool way to remember the things that you're learning about is to use art. So I made this art project of um, a food chain. We have a tiger eating a baby cougar, all, eating a snake, eating a rabbit that ate some um, leaves. Okay, so this shows you that each person, each animal is dependent on that next animal getting the food that they need. And for something fun, I'm going to show you how to how to draw this crazy and fun um, activity. All right, guys. So the trickiest thing with this is making sure that you start big enough. Okay, you're going to add the details last, and especially with coloring, showing kind of which animal is which. So get a piece of paper, and we're going to start really big with the tiger. I'm going to do kind of like one of those V birds, like this, okay? I'm going to add the triangle ear up to the top. I'm going to add the triangle ear up to the top. I'm going to go all, we're over exaggerating, I'm going to go all the way down to here, all the way down to here, okay? I didn't connect because I'm going to make just a little chin. And then I'm going to go out and out for my tiger. Now, up at the top, I'm going to add a triangle for the nose. And I'm going to go back and back. Okay? Now, I need to make that mouth really big so we can fit everything in. So I'm going to start about halfway down on the nose. And I'm going to come down and make this ginormous mouth. Okay? I need to add the teeth. That's just some zigzags or tops of triangles. And then I'm going to add some tops of triangles up here. You can do whatever eyes you want. For the video, I'm just going to do simple ones, so that makes it a little bit easier and maybe not quite as long. So I'm just going to go like this and make an eye with a highlight like this, make an eye with a highlight, then I'm going to add one, two, three whiskers, one, two, three whiskers, details inside the ears, and then I might add a couple pieces of fur. And I need to add those triangles that would be the pattern on my tiger. Now, the next thing we're going to do is our cougar. Now, we want to make sure that it looks like, as when we're showing the food chain, that each animal is dependent on the next. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to do like a little rainbow, but I'm going to make sure to touch the, the tooth. And I'm going to make a little rainbow and make sure to touch the tooth. Connect in a stretched out rainbow. Go all the way down. Touch the tooth. Go all the way down. Touch the tooth, finish in between those teeth, go down and down for my little cougar. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to add my nose near the top of my cougar, go back and back to show the bridge of his nose. I'm going to add some eyes, and I might just stick with the same simple eyes 
that I started with. And I am keeping this here just as a reference so you kind of know, um, you can begin with the end in mind and kind of know where we're headed next. Okay, now I'm going to take this, I'm going to go right by the nose, I'm going to come down as big as I can. I might even touch some of those teeth, that's awesome. And then I'm going to add inside the ear and inside the ear. I just realized I didn't add any um, lines for my cougar. Oops, I need to put some on here too. Okay, and then I'm going to do some teeth. Now, um, to make that look like a cougar, we need to just add the fur. So you're just going to go around and do some little lines to show that he's furry. When you add color is when you can really add the details. Next, we're going to do the snake. The biggest thing in this is to make sure to leave room for the eyes. So I'm going to kind of touch up here and do a rainbow. Okay? I'm going to add an eye on the side, an eye on the side, add an eyelid, and then I might just add my eye. I meant to have a little highlight, but I colored it in. It's okay. doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go up. It's important for you to kind of do that up line like a little hill. And then I'm going to come down close to the teeth like this. And then I'm going to come down, follow the contour of the mouth. Okay. And then I'm going to add some of the fangs, the fangs that a snake would have. And for this, I just did some scales. Now we're going to have our bunny. So I want you to begin with the end of mine. I'm going to make like a little rounded circle. But I'm going to try to remember I need to make space for the bunny ears. Okay, and I'm going to do inside the ears. I'm kind of pretending like that one got cut off. I'm going to do inside the ears. I'm going to make that triangle for the nose. I'm going to go around as big as I can. I'm going to do two buck teeth for, for his teeth. I'm going to add two eyes. And then I might even add a few more teeth down here his neck and then the last detail is you just add some leaves okay or some kind of plant that your rabbit would have eaten and then you go back and color and voila you have a food tree project also, never forget to write your name fancy like you do in art. The more detail you add, the cooler it will be. If you do this project, please, please, please upload to Flipgrid, Flipgrid, Flipgrid.